Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kyle Price Livingston. Welcome to WebV Guide Conversations. This week we'll be talking with the man who knows a little something about spaceships, Science Officer Bulch Maverick. How are you, Bulch? Doing fabulously, Kyle. Is my audio coming through all right? Uh, loud and clear. Cool, cool. I was just nervous because, you know, I've, n I've never done one of these things before and uh, in space they say no one can hear you stream. <laughs> so, Bulch, uh, to start things off, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where are you from? Well, uh, I was born on Earth, you know, uh, hey, me too, Earthling pride, right? Uh, but I only lived there till I was like three, so I don't really remember it. Oh, really? Where did you guys go from there? My dad bought a farm on Albany Prime. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. Pretty dull, actually. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I bet. Um, why don't you explain to the viewers at home what Albany Prime is? Sure. Uh, Albany Prime was essentially a big, uh, desolate asteroid just kind of floating at the edge of the Alpha Quadrant. Uh, and some venture capitalists bought it and turned it into a replica of upstate New York. And why would anyone do that? I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, we moved to uh, just outside New Utica, and uh, that was that. What did you guys farm? Beetles, mostly. Uh, yeah, there was a uh, pretty big Ferengi retiree population on Albany Prime. Oh, yeah, that, that makes total sense. You guys are really close to space in New York. They have a huge Ferengi population. Nice people. Eh, they're all right, I guess. They're good business people, but I don't really trust them. You know they run Federation Media. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, um, oh, uh, how did you join Starfleet? Well, I mean... I didn't exactly have a lot of choice. It was either that or stay on New Utica farming beetles and open to marry one of the local Phipps. Do I want to know what that means? Ferengi Imperial Princesses, my brother. Come on, you know the type. Super rich, whiny, daddy issues, right, materialistic, and they all have those enormous freak- Hey, I have a great idea. Let's not talk about the Ferengi anymore. Um... Tell us about Starfleet. Oh, Starfleet's great, right? Free travel, free healthcare, all the food you can replicate. You can't beat it. Ha, <laughs> sounds awesome. Now, you're a science officer, correct? Yes, indeed. I am a geneticist, specifically. Uh, basically, when a ship discovers some new kind of alien life or a, a plant or something, they, they bring it up to me, and I run it through the scanners and figure out how it's all put together. Oh, very cool. Uh, so what ship are you on? I'm actually stationed on a starbase. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, the, the spaceship appointments are all politics, right? You, like, piss off the wrong guy, and it's like, off to Starbase 12 with you, Bulch. So, here I am. Is there much for a geneticist to do on a starbase? <sighs> Honestly, I'm basically just a greenhouse keeper here. I mean, it's all right, but it, it interferes with my research. It's the only thing that bothers me about it. What kind of research are you doing? It's a, a longitudinal study involving, you know, the various freighter crews that come through. Oh, really? Uh, can you tell us more? Or is it, like, top secret? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, sure, sure. Uh, sorry, I'm not a very good interview. Um, Basically, I'm just trying to prove that uh, Klingons, as a species, are inherently less intelligent than humans. What is wrong with you? What? Look, it's nothing against them, alright? I have Klingon friends. 
I'm not one of those guys. It's just that they've been bred for generations to be strong and aggressive. It's simple eugenics. Genetics. I'm really uncomfortable with where this interview is going. Oh, don't be like that. I say Vulcans are good at math and everybody just nods, but as soon as I say Klingons are violent, people lose their minds. Look, the facts are the facts. Klingons are responsible for a high percentage of violent crime. I think we should stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was meant to be an interview. I didn't realize this was the PC Earthling family hug-along hour. Boy, it is hard to believe they won't let you on a spaceship. Whatever, man. The Federation is a welfare state. You don't even have money! Because the Romulan immigrants took all our jobs! You are an awful human being. And you're a race traitor! Oh, you know what, man? Fuck. Well, um... Yeah. Sorry about, um... Yeah. See you next week.